Okay, hi everybody, this is Sam. I hope that this is good because I'm using um, a tablet instead of my laptop. I hope it's not jerking. Um, if this doesn't work out good, I'll just go back to my laptop. Okay, um, I didn't read that much this month and I didn't watch, well, I mean, I kind of did. I watched a whole season of Well, I'll talk about that later. This is my book wrap up, but I've watched a season or something. Um, but I'm trying to think that I'm, I'm trying to make sure I didn't read anything on that free comic. No, I didn't. I meant to, but no. Everything's been real hectic and everything. Because uh, I had a roommate that went nuts. And she stole my phone, so I had to wait to get a new phone. Um, because she's saying, like, she ain't got it, and yeah, right. But, where do I? Okay, I'm still trying to get used to this. I got a new one, Motorola. I did have a Samsung, but I gotta get a case for it. Okay, what do I want to do first? I guess I'll talk about the book I read. Okay. I know I read a book. I know I read a book. Give me a minute. I was just making sure I didn't accidentally put in my reread. I know I read a book. It was blue. Um. Hmm. It was about vampires. Uh. Arl Stein. Uh. Something about a vampire. Vampire's Breath. That's what I read. Carl Stein's Vampire's Breath. I guess you'll have to look it up because I can't find it. But, um, I guess I'll go ahead and have the unwrapping. Little doggy. Calendar. I wonder what year this came from. June of some year. Yeah, it doesn't tell me the year. Yeah, I have no idea where this came from. Bugs in your ears, Betty Bates. What do you do when your new step family won't listen to you? Oh man. It's in it's in the reverse thing. I gotta figure out how to fix that. Sometimes everything goes wrong, says Carrie. She doesn't want a stepfather or a new step family. Especially a father with hairy arms and garlicky breath and three kids named Cardo, Genevera, and Newton. What kind of crazy names are those? complains Carrie. Rick, the oldest, picks on her. Screwy Nui, the class brain, has a boa constrictor for a pet, and Ginger hates staring, or sharing her room with her stepsister. Nobody listens to Carrie or seems to care about what she wants. You all got bugs in your ears, says Carrie. She plans to do something about it and soon discovers nothing ever stays the same and sometimes lots of things can go right. I don't know 
for ever grabbing this. Ever. Garfield, Colin Page. Okay, I'll remember this one. <laughs> Intrigue Shiver by Cynthia Cook. It's one of those Holocorn books. Spine tingling sensations. Detective Riley McIntyre had long ago stopped being anyone's protector until a scared Deborah Morgan needed his help, but the beautiful blonde dependence. Only went so far. Where her secrets, the key were her secrets, the key to the grisly murder that had torn her apart. His family that made her tremble. Devra had been suppressing her fears for so long. She didn't know how to trust the sexy New Orleans cop. But frequently, but frequent psychic visions sent shivers down her spine, forcing her to reveal that Riley was the killer's next target. Could she get him to believe what she saw was unequivocally real, as real as the pain in her heart at the thought of losing him? Newspaper, I think. this. Remember I said a bunch of my books got thrown away or anything? I had wrapped it and didn't even know I wrapped the damn sucker. Oh, I'm so happy. I can read it now. John Grisham, The Client. Because I really love the movie. And I want to see how different the book is from the movie. I mean, I know it's going to be different, but I just want to read it so bad. Okay, I didn't expect him to look like that. <laughs> oh, I bet you he doesn't look like that now. Oh, well, since I read the others, might as well read this one too. In the two years since The Firm first captured the imagination of America's readers, John Grisham, with three consecutive number one bestsellers, has become one of the most popular authors of our time, now in The Client, he has written a novel so irresistible, so thoroughly entertaining and satisfying that it, it is not sure not only to please his millions of fans, but to win him new ones as well. This is the story of 11-year-old Mark Sway, who, has the, who, as the novel opens, witnesses the bizarre suicide of a New Orleans attorney. Just before he dies, the lawyer tells Mark a deadly secret concerning the recent murder of a Louisiana senator whose accused killer, Mafia thug Barry Maldano, is about to go to trial. The police, the federal prosecutor, and the FBI, FBI pressure Mark to tell them the attorney's last words, but he knows that with the mob watching his every move, revealing his secret, will almost surely get him killed. So Mark, streetwise and old beyond his years, hires a lawyer, Reggie Love, a 52-year-old divorcee who who's been through more than anyone could imagine and survived basically because she's tough and feisty and loves helping kids overlooked or abused by the system but when mark's life is threatened and reggie discovers her officer or officer office has been bugged and even the juvenile court judge says mark has no choice but to talk she realizes that this time she's in way over her head, but then Mark comes up with a plan, a crazy plan, in Reggie's opinion, but it's their only hope. And it just might work. With the, with the page-turning suspense and terrific plot twist that had become John Grisham's trademark, he has once again crafted a novel that simply cannot be put down, but in the client, Grisham has gone a step further with a cast of unforgettable characters headed by the most original hero in years. He has mixed equal parts humor and warmth and truly expanded the boundaries of, of the legal thriller. Right, 
sorry. Uh, magazine kind of, I think it's might be match mark. Magic Mart of Goodsons. I may even save a lot for all I know. Either one of those. But now that I'm looking at it, I mean, it's gotta be either. I don't know. It's gotta be either one of those. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy I basically wrapped all of them now but I gotta wait for the the one that I really want to read I gotta order it again because not only did she take my phone she took my book uh what was that one called again the maid's secret and I really wanted to read that that's the one that I wanted to read the most so yeah I could probably buy that one again so I'm not going to pick these up until I get it, but The Inventor by Emily Oregon, because I got The Inventor, and then I got The Rookery, yeah, and I also got to get Limelight, I think it's the first one in it, but I can read these out of order, I just wanted to start it with The uh, Made Secret, because that one seemed inter more interesting. London, 1884. Electricity pioneer Simon Borthwick lights up Victorian London with a stunning illuminations display, then shoots himself in a handsome cab. Plucky Feet Street reporter Penny Green witnesses the inventor's death and suspects the clues to his suicide lies in a mysterious letter he left behind. But can she persuade Inspector James Blakely of Scotland Yard that a crime has been committed? Borthwick isn't the only person who died that day and Penny soon encounters a shadowy world which the police can't go can't get close to. When the intimidation begins, Penny begins to fear for her safety. James does what he can to protect her, but is it enough? I just hope when I order it it'll be in the same cover. Cause I like them all to match. Um Yeah if, if I can't, I know I can find it, but if I can't find it, I'll, show, I'll probably accidentally show you again in next month's video, the um, vampire book that I was trying to tell you I read, because I know I have it, I swear I thought I put it in the bag, but I guess I didn't, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, bye.